Hi guys, so this video is about time span class. Time span class is used when you want to retrieve a difference between two dates or a difference between a time uh, which could be in the format of hours, seconds and minutes. So let's see so in action how time span class is actually works. So to make time span class work, first of all we need to create a date object using date time class. So it will be date time dt make it dt1 okay and give it a date like uh, 1 wait a minute 1 5 2016 it will take year mm, wait a minute make it 2016 date will be Five. Sorry, month will be five, and date will be five. Create another object. It will be DT two. New date time. Year will be the same. Make it thirty. Sorry, make it uh, five, and date will be thirty this is year month and date so the difference between these two date is 25 days and you will see how to get that one using time span class so time span ts okay it will be dt my uh, dt1 sorry it will be dt2 minus dt1 ts dot string turn the application so you can see the difference is 25 so we got some uh, hours minutes or seconds here but uh, that doesn't matter in this case because we are basically looking over this example in the next videos we will see how to remove all these stuffs so for now, whenever you want to get the difference, you can make use of this class. If I am not wrong, there should be a method called elapsed time. Anyways, I'll see it in the next video. So just keep in mind, if you want to get a time difference or a date difference, you can make use of this class. This can return hours, minutes, seconds. Because we got a couple of constructors in the date time class, which takes hours, minutes and seconds. So if you want to sub subtract those one or add those one, you can use this one. You can also add these two, sorry, sorry, it should be time difference, I'm extremely sorry for that. So if you want to subtract the dates, you can make use of uh, time span class and this will give you the right output. Let's see in the next videos what I got. I'll show you a couple of methods and properties which can be used in time span class to retrieve days only, minutes only, hours only okay so just uh, try this out and uh, see what uh, issues you got if you have any issue just feel free to comment and i will reply to them as soon as possible mm -hmm. so see you in the next video have a nice day